doing today? We're good. We're excited. Oh, we're great. Yeah, having a good time. Look, I feel like all of you are my best friends now after watching the series. So you might oh. be a so you <laughs> did like it. Yes. Stop it. I liked it. It was Thank good. You. Thank you. I love series like this that make you remember the power of friendship. You know, those who have been with you through the good times and the bad. And I wanted to know for all of you, like, who is that tight knit circle, you know, who have really helped you along the way to where you are now? Oh, wow. Um, I want to say, well, one, my sisters, I would probably say they're my best friends. And obviously they know you from when you're little and older, but I am fortunate enough to say that I'm still best friends with people I went to high school with. And, you know, growing up, knowing someone for 20 years, there's a lot of ups and downs, lots of fights. And I think because I still have those friendships, I've learned that no relationship is perfect. You're not always going to get along. And that's part of the growing pains. And I love that it's showcased on the show as well. Like it shows real relationships between people that agree or disagree, and they really talk through it and support each other no matter what. I'm going to say my family, the kids I grew up with, you know, I, some of them I haven't seen in years and years because I've been, I moved to the U.S. and all of this, but they still have my back. You know, they still have my back. I've met lots and lots of people, but some stick through a lot. And those are special to me. You know, I feel like it's really crazy when you meet people and, and, and you don't see them for a long time. And when you meet them again, that vibe is so good. Everything is real. It's the same. You know, you're just like, oh, my God, you're a piece of time for me, you know? Like, I'm going to cherish you forever. So I feel special about those people. Well, mine's, mine's fairly easy, I think. Before I, before I moved to America, I, I lived in London for 10 years. And my group of friends there that I met when I was training to be an actor, I, I lived with them for, for nearly a decade. And, and they don't become like family. They are your family. They're the people that I grew up with. They're the people that I made mistakes around and and fell in love you know alongside Th those are the the people that yeah that are special to me anyway i love that let me call my friends today and tell them that i appreciate them um, <laughs> <laughs> but you all of your characters find yourselves in some crazy situations throughout the course of the series but i wanted to know how is it playing with the physical comedy that we see but also, too, while having to navigate filming on a multicam, what was that experience like? We just made it up as we went along, didn't we? <laughs> That's 100% real, though. Yeah, we, we, because none of us had done multicam before, we were all just as terrified as, as, as each other, and we were very open and honest about um, how we were feeling. I mean, <laughs> Suraj is, is peace in, in episode three, which... I think oh. we all know what you're talking about. You got to bring it back up, bro. <laughs> on, the, on the page, I remember reading that thinking it's going to be quite funny. And then I was in that day uh, whilst he was filming that. And the, the physical comedy that he managed to bring to that was outstanding. Yeah, Thanks, I think man. it's fun being able to, to play. And the writers will tell us either they like it or they don't. And, even, and sometimes even if they don't, it's like, well, just try this version of what you're trying to do. It's very collaborative. Um, and it's really fun to be able to go over the top and see how far you, you can push the, the buttons. I think I have more throughout the season. Um, this is the most physical comedy I've ever done. And it's, it's, it's fun to create it. Mm -hmm. Can I say something weird? I don't know if you guys know Bob Ross, but, you know, yeah. he, he does that thing. What's he say? There's no mistakes. There's only a happy accidents or something like that. Yeah. But I feel like sometimes you do these strange things that wouldn't normally work. But for whatever reason, on that day, with that story and with that moment, they kind of do. And it's like, okay, this is the one they finally chose. It's so interesting. But I feel like to have them give you the trust uh, to do that kind of stuff is, is crazy. And I, to have the actors around you that will, will take it and go with it, run with it, whatever it is. You know, within us, like we whisper sometimes, we're like, hey, you, you try that, try that, or try yeah. that, try that. They're yeah. like, oh, should I do this, really? And sometimes, hey, sometimes it doesn't work. But sometimes... It's gold. Yeah. And so fun to be part of. It's just a good time. Look, I don't even know how you made it through filming some of these scenes because I was dying laughing watching we, it. We, we didn't, didn't make it. We didn't make it. <laughs> the last, if, I am really laughing. <laughs> and if you look very closely at our eye lines, I cannot look Suraj in the face throughout <laughs> most of, uh, especially episode two. Uh, oh we were, we had to sort of deliver our lines just sort of looking up at the ceiling so that we weren't laughing at each other. 
Well, look, I had such a pleasure watching all of you in this series. I just want to thank you for taking the time to speak with me. And I'm just sending love and light all of your ways. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you. And love and light to you, too. Thank you. I, I received it. Thank you. <laughs>